Wow! How did that happen? Don't know, right? Well, let me explain. The balloon is made of a polymer. What is a polymer, you might want to ask, right? Well, kids, a polymer is a molecule which is made up by joining together other small molecules called monomers. The balloons are also made with these monomers which join together to form polymers. When blowing the balloon, you are filling it with air. That means the balloon is now stretching. And when the balloon cannot stretch anymore, BAM! It pops! The force that was needed for the balloon to pop is known as tensile strength. Well kids, other than that, there are many other materials which also need a lot of tensile strength to break. You might know one of them as rubber bands. These are also polymers. Rubber bands are quite an interesting invention. When you pull a single rubber band, it will break easily. Now if you put 10 or 15 rubber bands together, you'll need a lot of strength to break those bonds. You can apply this into your lives. The bond you have with your peers is same as having a lot of rubber bands together. No matter how much a person will apply the force, it will be really hard to break. Okay, now I want you all to imagine. Ready? Okay, imagine you and your friends are playing tug of war outside in the mud. There are five of you who are pulling the rope which is made up of polymers from one side and another five of you are pulling the rope from the other side. None of you are able to win and put in all your strength with one last grunt. Suddenly, the rope breaks and BAM! All of you fall into the mud. Now all of you are dirty and you start to wonder, why did the rope break? Well, the reason is because of tensile strength. The force from both the sides were enough to cause the polymer to stretch so much that it broke. This is what is known as tensile strength. Now to pique your curiosity, you might think how a person goes around to measure such a force. Well, let me tell you this. Science has the answer to that. Scientists have made a machine to measure the tensile strength. The machine is known as the universal testing machine. There is nothing high tech about this machine. All it does, it pulls on a long piece of polymer and it measures the force needed for it to break. Alright kids, now when you go out playing with balloons and while you are blowing it and it bursts, remember, it did that because of tensile strength. <laughs>